Welcome to El Hobo and his girlfriend. Hobo Tom is missing today. Instead, I am El Vagabundo, El Hobo, and I'm here to take his place because this is actually the first review of the new season of Lucha Underground. Lucha, 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 Lucha. Ready on three. Lucha, Lucha. Ready? You must have friends in high places. Lucha, 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 Lucha. Are you talking to the hand? No, that's a, that's a sequence. We're going to show some videos. So, yes, you'll get a little bonus clip. You'll get some bonus videos. Again, from the from El Hobo's, El Vagabundo's, El Televisione. You never took Spanish, did you? I did, but I failed it. That's not good. No comprende. Como se dice. Whatever. Well, this was a very fun event. This was the first time. She actually watched Lucha Underground. What did you think of it? Here. Yeah, it is very storyline based wrestling. But it was a great start, a good recap. And it actually started off with a battle royal known as Aztec Warfare. And here you have, again, a 20 person battle royal where you can only be eliminated by either pinfall or submission. And of course, headlocks do count. But I love you, sweetie. Not with the mask. Nope. I better be careful. Hobo Tom might come through that door right there and bite my nose off. Hopefully my soon. Mask. You, you better make this video quick then. Oh, we're up and down a little thing. Um, first, I'm going to give you all 20 participants in the order they were there. First was number one and two was Mac and Killshot, the trio's champion. And, of course, um, Dante Fox is now in Impact Wrestling, so he's not there. And number three, who is a member of the new trio's champion, is Son of Havoc. Excellent. Then we had Jody Ryan enter. Mr. Pectacular, came in number five, Pentagon Dark, Feral Miedo was number six. Seven, you had the hardcore legend himself, Tommy Dreamer. Then you had Mariposa coming to eight. Vincent Miscanio was nine. Fernandez 10, again, one of the original members of Lucha Underground. Then, of course, you had Johnny Mundo. And then Ricky Mundo at number 12. Phoenix came in at 13. Jeremiah Crane, 14. Mir Muertes, the man of a thousand deaths, came in at 15. Daga, 16. Chavo Guerrero Jr. Came in at 17. King Cuerno, 18. Dragon Azteca Jr., 19. And number 20 was Marty the Moth Martinez. To me, this was really fun. It's great to see Lucha Underground back. Again, it's just a really good show. Oh, the handcuffs. <laughs> oh. 
Uh-oh, who's next? Oh, wait. Five, four, three, two, one. You want my two cents? Yes. That was one big battle. Some of it was getting a little too violent. Tom, you dreamer. There was lots of masks and tricks and jumps that I'd never seen. Of course, because it's Lucha. That's why I am El Hobo El Vegabundo. I, even I have my own wrestling mask. And you shall not unmask me. And they used thumbtacks, voodoo dolls, metal folding chairs, wooden sticks, pizza, and fighting to get their way. Yes, that was a terrible use of pizza, but very entertaining. Uh, yeah, this was really fun. And you are <laughs> oh, man. oh, the handcuffs. <laughs> oh! Oh, who's next? Only oh, five, four, three, two, one. And it was just fun to see. It's good to see back on TV. I mean, the thing is, the match lasted the whole 45 minutes minus the commercials. They do a really good job pacing. Fun match. Again, you have the loot, the true Lucha style, where they're doing 15 move spots and there's just four or five off the ropes. A lot of high-flying maneuvers. Um, you did see a lot of people jumping off the top rope, especially Dragon Azteca Jr., yeah. uh, Phoenix. Johnny Mundo hit, hit the Around the World, I think, an impact he calls Starship Pain. Or is that a different move? I forget. I only have one move. And then that is, that is a, the Violent Vagabundo choke. F followed, followed by the La Bonita Night Nose Bite. Yes. Yeah, it was just really fun. It was kind of like a who's who of old school indie wrestlers. Again, Tommy Dreamer showed up. That was great. It's some people I never heard of. Mr. Spectacular or whatever. Son of Havoc's always great. Joey Ryan was there. Yes, with a lollipop. Yeah, he a little bit. Sticky man. Big, like, El Cheapo poster board. It eventually got kind of ruined, I think, over time. Boom! Boom! A lot of the wrestlers, I think, never made it, though, into the bigs. Flash from the past, Tommy Dreamer versus, oh. Cero Miedo. Oh. Well, yeah, it was really fun. Um, good matches, good action. I guess my only, my only minor qualm is that some people just got eliminated way too quickly. Joey Ryan, I think, lasted like four minutes at most after he tried to handcuff himself. The ropes. That never works. Overall, I thought it was, it was fun. And the winner and still Lucha Underground Champion, Sarah Miedo. Pentagon Dark. Again, really fun. Um, it kind of had a really good opening.
introduced kind of the whole new cast of characters. Now you have Al Jefe as Matanza, as not Matanza, well, as Matanza's father, but as Dario Cueto's father. Now it takes over the organization. The temple's in, in a new spot. And it's pretty cool. And then next week, the fun thing about this, it gives you the next match next week. Another good reason to tone in, tune in. The hobo and his girlfriend wrestling pot. Oh, wait. Not the hobo. He's out He's, he's, he's out here hoboing in this horrible, miserable, rainy weather. It'll be El Hobo Dos Vagabundo podcast on Lucha Underground. And again, the next match, or at least next week, we're going to have Cerro Miedo Pentagon Jark. Dark versus the monster Matanza. And we'll see what happens next. And thank you very much for watching El Hobo El Vagabundo Dos Tom Tomaso. Yes. Hobo and Tom's not here today. Well, I'm going to go find him. I, I better go run. Go, go head back to someplace in Mexico. Maybe it looked like Cuba or someplace. Again, on behalf of Hobo Tom, I am El Vagabundo El Hobo Trace And please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. If you do leave a comment, you'll get something, some bonus con content dedicated just to you. And comment, like, share, subscribe. Remember, what was it that Hobo Tom said? If we get 10 subscribers, what do we have? Pizza party. The perfect 10 pizza party. Or Diaz pizza party. Diaz party el pizza. See. And also Gmail at Hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. I have sent out some, some Gmails to people. Again, Nostrin, thank you very much for your comments. You've received your email. I forget what that was. I'll have to contact Hobo Tom later and see see what he sent them because I don't know. I just speak English and for some reason very bad Spanish for being El Hobo. And please like and subscribe. If you have a comment, send an email. Bye. Bye. No, I have to take pictures of the process. Ooh, I put them online. Yep. These are the Lucha Nachos for Lucha Underground. Ooh, no, don't cut take up. Me. No, am I? <laughs> Gotta cut up the peppers. There you have some barbecue pulled pork. And take said peppers in hand. Mm, pepper, pepper. You're not like videoing this, are you? Yes, I am. This is the bonus episode. Chop, 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 chop. Hootie, 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 you knew you could get pepper. Oh, wait, that's Swedish, not, not Mexican. I mean, Spanish. I'm sorry. I apologize. El Hobo apologizes for his bad. Speak. Y como se dice el hobo. Of course, with el lucha nachos. Garbage, no one wants to see garbage. You have, as always, not soy, but queso.
Yes! How great is queso? No one no wants to see my keys. Let's watch more. Oh, who's that? That is El Perro. Oh no, El Gato. I'm sorry, wrong language. I digress. And the peppers for the lucha nachos. And now it's your turn to film me. Just, just, just hold it. Very simple. No scientific method. And into the oven it goes. Press that red button.